Welcome to Meet the Musicians, powered in part by Classic of Denton. The views and opinions expressed by the show hosts and their guests are those of the show host and guests, and not necessarily those of the sponsors, DentonRadio.com, or the Denton Convention and Visitors Bureau. For more information, visit the Policies and Procedures page at DentonRadio.com. All right, everybody, we are live coming at you with another episode of Meet the Musicians. In the studio today, we've got one of my favorites, the one, the only, the Southpaw Preachers. How's it going, guys? Good. Good. Well, yeah. thanks so much for coming and, and being in the studio today. Uh, after the interview, everybody, make sure you stick around because you're going to get to hear an awesome performance from these guys. Super, super stoked about this. Uh, so we're pre-recorded today. So if we talk about anything time sensitive, uh, that's why the, you, you guys, it might not make sense. But, <laughs> but <laughs> this ought to be coming out on the 13th, I believe, So mm -hmm. that just to give everybody a frame of reference. But anyways, normally we're live. Today we're pre-recorded uh, because this is a... Uh, a busy and incredible crew that, man, when you can get them in the studio, you get them in the studio. So <laughs> thanks again for being here, guys. Really Thank do appreciate it. Um, so let's start off with the burning question from everybody, the name, Southpaw Preachers. Where did that come from? Okay, so Brandon <laughs> Morris says that he came up with this name. He runs okay. Soul Kitchen right now. Yeah. Um, but I don't think he came up with it independently, <laughs> but we were crowdsourcing a name uh, from our friends, and he mentioned the Southpaw Preachers, which is fitting because I'm left-handed. Okay. Um, and, you know, like do some musical preaching, whatever. We just like the name mostly. <laughs> like and then it. come to find out that it was not an original Ooh. brainchild of his. There was a Southpaw Preachers band in Arlington, Texas in the 90s. Okay. And it was like a house show pop. <laughs> you should look them up on YouTube we and let us know. We actually met a think. relative of one of the members of the band at Denton Arts oh, and Jazz right. this last time. He remembers it wasn't, things. It wasn't of the same person who was who was a little. There was a vibey you, person. Yeah, a there long was time there ago. was someone who found out about us and was like, "Mad." That was my band in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like a dad shit. or something. We met a dad who was adorable yeah. at Denton Arts and Jazz, yeah, and he good. thought we were great. Yes. So well, that's good. Well, that settles good. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad, I'm. I agree. They are great. Anyway, oh. <laughs> so I just, I just faux pas a little bit. We didn't do introductions before I asked the first oh. question. Oh. So let's go around the table and get names for everybody. I know you guys have a lot of folks that kind of rotate in and out, and you've got a, a you can do big lineups and smaller lineups and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. But yeah. who's with us today? I am Hale Baskin. I am the left-handed person of the family. <laughs> that's how we got that name. Love it. I am uh, Kenny Davis. I am the preacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. Yeah, no, I, I play trombone. I'm just kidding. Love it. I'm uh, Chris Hill. Everyone calls me Chill. I am the drummer. A drummer. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> and I'm Colin Campbell. I'm the keyboard player, and bass player, and MD. A lot of jobs. Yeah. <laughs> the Very the part musical of musical director. <laughs> that's not a medical doctor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was, yeah. I was I was like, man, those <laughs> mini talents <laughs> right there. Okay. All right. Um, well, very very cool. So, um, uh, I don't. I, I hate this question because I know everybody hates this question because we don't. I'm not going to say what genre are you because every artist hates answering that question. <laughs> but if you had to describe yourself for somebody that hadn't heard South Park Preachers before. Uh, and if you haven't heard them, again, they're going to be performing here in just a little bit. But uh, give us a, a description of the group for everybody. Well, it's um, we call it gritty soul funk. Okay. Um, in that we take we take a lot of soul songs and a lot of funk songs, and we'll take older songs and make them a little bit newer, and mm -hmm. newer songs and make them a little bit older, and kind of meet in the middle. And but the common denominator is the soul and the funk. Cool. So nice. that that's kind of that's kind of what we think of ourselves. Very very cool music you can dance to. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. So y'all have a gig coming up soon at uh, a brand new spot here in town, uh, Lion and Crown. Give us a little info on when that's going to be and all that good stuff. So uh, we're going to be playing at Lion and Crown, which is the newly reopened Abbey Underground. For mm -hmm. those who are familiar with the Abbey Underground. Um, and we're playing there on June 27th, which I believe is a Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we have the full band lineup. So we cool. have uh, not just us, but we have guitar. We have three more horns. And it's going to awesome. be a good time. Yeah. I think there's an opener or two that I, I'm unaware of who they are, but they're also going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and I think we start around 9 or 10, something like that. Very yeah. cool. Don't quote me on that. Look it's on the, the internet. It's the, other, <laughs> it's the other Southpaw preachers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> reunion show. Very nice. Very nice. So any other gigs coming up that we want to make sure we plug? Oh, man. Uh, we play at Henry's Majestic <coughs> down in Uptown once a month. We that play same weekend, actually. Oh, that, that Saturday. That Saturday. And we play at the Mitchell... In, on Main Street, Dallas, every Friday. So that particular weekend, with the 27th, we're playing at Lion and Crown. The 28th, we're playing at the Mitchell on Main Street, Dallas. Awesome. And uh, Saturday, we're playing at uh, Henry's. Henry's, I think, yeah. yeah. We also are playing at Harlow, MXM, and Deep Ellum once a month, mm -hmm. or at least until the end of the year. Um, yeah, so we're around. You can check us out on Instagram where I publish our calendar every month. Love hey. it. At the <laughs> South Park. Halfway Preachers. through the month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Better late Only than one never. I, yeah. <laughs> it was like two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, very, very cool, guys. So, what guy, individually, you guys are all really talented artists and musicians. So, I want to hear a little bit about what brought you into music. What I mean, was it hitting pots and pans when you were little was it were your parents into it were you trying to impress somebody i mean, i don't know but my what, parents yeah that's why i picked <laughs> up the trombone <laughs> <laughs> yeah just for that, for that wow factor <laughs> we never I love it. from kenny and chill why don't we let them yeah my, uh, what about you people you first i mean my dad played trombone he okay. was in a he was in a cover band it's in the family oh it's yeah the family well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he had a trombone so when i signed up for band the band actually like oh you, you have a horn so I don't got to find you one? Yeah, you're playing trombone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And that's literally why I do this. <laughs> 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 I love it. Yeah. What about you, Joe? Um, Me, I uh, actually found like a picture of myself when I was like two years old playing drums. And I didn't even know I'd started playing that early. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a Christmas gift from my godparents. And cool. my, my mom and grandma were like, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> 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 and lo and behold, here I am still playing. Um, yeah, I love it. But uh, yeah, it was... Uh, Actually, Tool, the band Tool, Danny Carey. <laughs> really? Wanted nice. to play drums, yeah. Super cool. Yeah, That's adorable. Yeah, my parents that. are That's both so musicians, cute. so so <laughs> I started in on it early as well. So we got a lot of legacy here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, my dad's a musician, A lot of too. legacy in this room. My, mine, is, <laughs> mine is mine. There's, there's no legacy in mine. <laughs> You're your own legacy. You're the legacy. Very cool. <laughs> and Hale? Uh, yeah, same. My dad was a musician. I grew up uh, singing, and he would play guitar, little cutesy things like I'm a little teapot, and did the twinkle, twinkle, did little it? star, hit single. I would just mm. hit the whole song. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. All the, all the oh, little. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the fake book. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> um, but it just kind of snowballed from there. I was performing professionally by the time I was 12. So were you. Yeah. And uh, just started gigging really young, and then moved out here, did the jazz thing, and here we all are. Thanks, yeah. UNT. <laughs> So UNT was a was a big factor in bringing all of you guys together here in Denver. For sure, it's how the well, yeah. not, not not me. No. Yeah. <laughs> I did not go. I did not go. Here. Describe this your UNT experience. <laughs> um, it was wonderful. I didn't go here. Um, <laughs> mostly you're a wild card, man. No <laughs> family, no UNT. <laughs> I love yeah. it. <laughs> we are. We had an original group of musicians who's only changed slightly. Um, we've had a few people come and go, um, but we have we have kind of a revolving. Um, chair of drummers um, mostly just between <laughs> Chill and Lupe mostly it's between <laughs> Chill and Lupe they're they're both like they together are the drummer of our band <laughs> <laughs> kind of like when one can't make ma can't make a date the other one can make a date happens yeah Very makes cool. it less stressful but Kenny's everybody. been here since day one yeah uh, Day. Well, you added horns at like a couple N years in no remember when we did New Queens that was the beginning and we had horns in that no. Yeah. Oh, that was that other trombone like player. We forgot to say. No, it wasn't. I think we did. Anyway, Kenny's been in basically since its inception. Oh, for a Definitely That's for a long awesome. time. Yeah, and the other horn players and stuff. I don't know. Very We've been cool. friends for a long time. <laughs> Love that. Well, and Denton is is just dripping with musicians, so it's it's cool to get to pull from a bunch of people to make this kind of <coughs> stuff yeah. happen. Absolutely. I actually met Colin through uh, I think the first time through Michael Lee. Oh yeah. Um. We both great we both blues singer. With, uh, yeah, he was on The Voice recently. And yeah, awesome. we've known we've known Mike for years, yeah. but uh, I think that's the first time I met you was I yeah. was having a gig for him and very cool. Yeah, he was on it. I was like, oh man, this dude can play can play some songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have him play some of my songs. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the first time I saw him. I was like, oh dang, it was with Chris Watson mm. at Dan's. I never met you. Yeah. I didn't meet you that day, but I mm. saw you. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. I love also. it. <laughs> Dang. Hey, pre-recorded. We're okay. going to edit that we bad boy right out of there. Like, oh, it's like it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so you guys do some covers, but you also do some originals. Who's the writer? Is it is it a joint effort? or? When we do originals, um, I am the, the one who writes them. Okay. Um, I've been... I haven't been I haven't been writing original music for a long time. It's been within the past seven years or so. Okay, I guess that's a long that's time. A long yeah, time. That's a long time. That is yeah. kind of a long time. You've I've been, been writing songs longer than I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing for twenty five years. Though. Wow. So in in the it hasn't been long in the in the context of that. But um, we do mostly covers because it um, we do original versions of covers. Yeah. So it's so it's kind of like we get to choose the covers we do. And and but it takes the same space as a cover band. We could do private parties. We can do bars. We can do birthday parties. Mm-hmm. We people. can do whatever mm-hmm. with the with the with the same repertoire because mm-hmm. people know the songs. Yeah. So we slip in or originals here and there, but in general, the kind of things that we're playing, we want people to move. We want people to yeah. to hear songs that they know, maybe in a different way than they're used to hearing it, and mm-hmm. be like. Oh my God! This is a new way to do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So we just kind of we slip originals in there, but we don't. We're not like originals band. Yeah. Well, very cool. So, um, links where people can find more stuff, website, social media, all that good stuff. Where Where do we want to send them? Um. We're on Instagram at the South Bob Preachers. We got a little Facebook band page. Um. Uh, my web, my personal website has like a little side page for the Southpaw Preachers. Nice. www.hailbaskin.com. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but check out our Instagram for our calendar of shows. Um, we play, a, usually we have a full band show around once a month-ish. Mm-hmm. Um, but in general, we play a lot of trio and quartet stuff. So we're out here. Yeah, we can play anyone's parties. Everyone will play your parties. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, uh, so we got you at Lion and Crown. Uh, we want to make sure we're plug, 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 and get out there and see these guys yeah. right here in downtown Denton, right on the square. Uh, one of the first new bands to to play in that. In that oh venue, yeah. Right? Well, not just that. Actually, the reason why it's so near and dear to my heart, specifically, although kind of all of us, is that um, <laughs> <laughs> wild card. <laughs> is, that, um, is that when I first moved to Denton, the Abbey Underground was one of the first places that actually paid something right. that would hire us right. when we were just babies putting this project together. And they really helped kind of like give us opportunity to cultivate our sound and our style and um, performance skills and all these things that we needed to do. And so now that it's arising anew from the ashes, yeah. I thought it would be fitting to kind of, you know, give back, feed a little energy back into that. Yeah. Um, Cause I've always loved that dirty basement. <laughs> <laughs> I always cool. love the nasty basement. Well, and that's important to have it's, that place really where nice you're now. able to develop. It's getting nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super cool. Anything else we want to touch on before we wrap up, guys? I don't think so. I think, I think we, we covered all the, all the <laughs> <Yeah. history>. awesome. <laughs> Well, guys, they are the Southpaw Preachers. Make sure you stick around. We're not going anywhere. They're still going to be performing. Stick right here at DentonRadio.com. If you're watching via video, the video is going to stop, but a new one's going to start. If you're listening on the podcast, just hang around. And uh, if you're listening on the radio, we will be right back. Again, we are right here at DentonRadio.com. Well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. We want to thank our partners and sponsors who made this show possible. And now stick around for a word from all of us here at Discover Dent.